We're going to do something now that's a lot of fun that you already know how to do. You put your hands up over your head so that your arms touch your ears like this. Then you're going to lie down on the floor and roll as fast as you can with your eyes closed. When you get over to one side, you will turn around and roll back just as fast as you can. All right, let's begin right here. And away they go, as fast as they can. Good, stop, turn around. Now, roll back, eyes closed, as fast as you can. Good job. going to do a really fun thing. We're going to hold our arms out and do what we call helicopter spin. What you do is you spin for 15 seconds with your eyes open and then I'll ask you to stop and at that point you close your eyes and if you need to you can get down on one knee so that you don't fall over. Anyway you'll really like this. Here we go. Spin as fast as you can and away they go. Faster and faster. Keep your eyes open. Eyes open. Eyes open, eyes open, stop, close your eyes, keep your eyes closed. Now what this vestibular activity does is it keeps the fluid moving in the semicircular canals and this really lights up the brain stem, creates a lot of attentional activity. Now fast, open your eyes and around you go again, here we go. Faster, faster, faster. You can go a lot faster. Now, stop, close your eyes. And here we are, eyes closed, and our brain is buzzing. Good job. We're going to do something that's really fun now. You're going to do what we call forward rolls. In this, you'll get down on your hands and knees, tuck your head, and kick over. And you can do as many of these as you like, but right here, we'll just do two of those. So let's come back here. Get down on your hands and knees, tuck your head, and kick over, and away they go. Stop and turn around and come back. Now at home, you'll do as many of these as you have room for, continuously. Wonderful. Excellent. Now we're going to do something that's fun and surprising. Let's step over here, give ourselves some room, and we're going to demonstrate a beginning cartwheel and an advanced cartwheel, which ordinarily we expect would show up around second or third grade. So it's a big surprise when it shows up beginning at first grade level or late kindergarten. Let's first look at a beginning cartwheel. Good. And now, a more advanced cartwheel. Good job. really fun things that you can do with your youngsters and here are some of those fun things. Here you can just swing the youngster like so 
hang upside down, or right on the foot. Here we go, hang on. Here we go, stepping along. How fun, stand up. Good, now let's do a walk right up my front. Here we go, up, 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 and over for a flip. Good job. Or the youngster can put the hands beneath the legs like so. Hang on, and over we go. One of the most important activities that youngsters can do to develop really good eye-hand coordination, pre-writing skill, and balance is combined in the canine creep. Let's look now as these youngsters demonstrate with knee pads the ability to balance in a two-beat pattern as they move forward. Here we go. Now they're looking at their little finger of each hand as the hand hits the floor. We might do this for several months. At the upper level, we'll add reading. Good job. And here we go, more reading. Right. Well, here we see the combined effects of balance and an academic or a pre-academic ability. And we see what happens when youngsters uh, are coordinated and alert. And we've combined a word family, that is a series of words that end in the same pattern, with a physical stimulation activity to get maximum benefit. <laughs>